Sarmed asks, hey guys, I need to upgrade Office 365 licenses for all 500 plus um, users from E3 to E5. The users assigned through a security group. Can I just change the group assigned license from E3 to E5 in Azure and click save? Or shall I assign E5 first and wait uh, some time before removing E3 licenses to ensure that no user will be affected? Absolutely, option B. Because I have seen a mass change in licensing go south um, in terms of, you know, two two competing processes on the back end if you're going in. And one one will win and one will lose. Um, and it's possible that, you know, I've seen it where both lost and you end up with users that have no licenses. So I definitely would take it slow and not do you know how many well, 500 users it was. Yeah. yeah i mean 500 yeah. users at one time if anything i do maybe 25 at a time you know uh, in batches uh, just to make sure what's well, always the smart thing there's always to do is to pilot test it out really you know, i mean but... i understand you want to do the whole the whole group the whole security group but I, you know <clears throat> number 1 if something does go south um this definitely could be a you know, depending on your situation, can be a resume generated event, um, and it's that's just not something you want to get into with you know 500 accounts that you have to individually touch. So, yeah, yeah, I like. Uh, there's a comment by someone who's not here, so they'll remain unnamed. No, it was uh, Sharon Weaver who I believe posted that, saying, you know, that like, hey, that could be fine, but why not? create a formal offboarding process so you can automate that um move them off of that version but i i agree assign the e5 wait till that goes through remove the e3s there's Just nothing wrong was, with it there's nothing yeah. wrong with having both licenses on an account i mean it doesn't it doesn't cause any issue having both licenses but if you remove one and then try and add the other one and for some reason you don't add then you're going to be, you know, it could turn into a bad night or a bad weekend or a bad week for you. Yeah, you don't want to break anything for people. Yeah.